trade names for um, Botox injectable? Um, there's Botox and Dysport. Those are the only two. Dys Dysport? Yeah. That I would never guess. Um, so, so it doesn't sound like anything that sounds like Botox? No, and it's been used in Europe for many, many years therapeutically, so that's why it doesn't have a pretty name. Mm -hmm. um, so, so for where they're trying to get rid of muscle spasms and things like that when you yeah. therapeutically? Yeah. Um, and it's just been approved in Canada. I think it was approved, I'm going to say, like in July or something like that for cosmetic use in Canada. Um, it was purchased by a huge pharmaceutical company. So um, I would expect a name change to something. Yeah, the American But yeah, as far American as I know, those are the only two recognized. Is that right? Um, Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Not getting that one. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like this is a nutraceutical, or it's it actually is working. Um, it's for anxiety and animals. Oh, yeah. Zilkin. Excuse me? What? Like, you know, I guess in Europe it made sense. But yeah, I, I think they're going to change the name. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. It's. They even said that, like, they just launched the product in February. So the. the uh, conference last weekend and I think we like, what the hell is the name? Why that name? Well, I said it nicely though. They were giving away free massages and you that visited their booth card massage. Oh my god. They do that at some of the conferences we go to too. I've never seen that before. And what a nice and of course it was about like this new product is for anxiety, so it's all about Mm-hmm. I was like, oh yeah, anyone's gonna want a massage on first of all. Okay. If y'all want you jumping up stage.